Hey, rich friends, it's your girl Cha Cha reporting live from The Money Mantra, and we are back with another Forex education video. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you guys for stopping by. I'm so excited that you are ready to learn how to trade. Now, the whole purpose of this channel is to help people become independent traders and profitable thinkers, specifically traders within the foreign exchange market. And I just really want you to be your own person, have your own mind and do your own thing. So if any of those things interest you, you are going to want to make sure that you subscribe and to continue watching this video. So in today's quick video, I'm going to be showing you guys a very useful tool on TradingView. And it's the tool that I use to calculate my stop loss and take profits. Now, I know when you probably look at trading or you look at Forex or you look at stocks, you think that there's a lot of math involved. And really, when it comes to Forex, other than calculating your, well, when it comes to being a Forex trader, other than calculating your stop loss, your take profit and your profits, there's really not much math to be done. But a way that you can make this even easier is by utilizing some of the free tools on TradingView, which I'm going to show you guys in one second. Now, TradingView is a free website that I use to analyze all my trades. It's extremely helpful and you can customize your chart any way that you like. So the tool that we're going to be using today can be found here. It's going to be about one, two, two under the text tool. You want to click on it. And then you're going to see a list of different tools pop up that you can use. But for today, we're going to focus on the long position tool and the short position tool. Now, whenever you're trading, if you're going long, that means you're going for a buy. This means that your profit target will be above wherever your entry was and your stop loss is going to be below this number. Now, to use the long position tool, if you are analyzing your trade for a buy, you're going to want to first click on long position tool. Now, nothing's going to pop up, and this is because you have to place where you want the tool to actually go. So let's just say your entry point was here on this green candle before all of this previous uh, action happened in the market. We would click on the screen, and a green box is going to pop up, and a red box is going to pop up. Now, the green box is your profit zone, and I like to call the red area your danger zone. Now, once you double click on this box, if you are not doing a pending order, what you can actually do is put your actual entry price that you entered the market right here. Then you will want to put your profit level here. So if you wanted to have a take profit of 50 pips, you will put 50 and then add a zero to make it 500 because remember pips are calculated as a smaller size. And then if you wanted to have a stop loss of 50 points, you will also put 500 here. Now, this is extremely easy because we have our entry point. We have our profit level, and this is what you're going to put plug in for your TP or MetaTrader 4. And you also have your stop loss level, and this is what you will plug in for your stop loss or MetaTrader 4. Now, that is for a long position if you were to get into the market for a buy. And as you can see, it's been adjusted. In the case of this trade, we can see that the market did not go down. There was no drawdown into our danger zone. And then this trade would have actually hit profit and then it actually continued to go up. So this is where we set our TP. This is where we set our stop loss. And this is where we entered. Now you can also find these numbers on the side. The dark green number will be what your TP is. And remember, if this is for a buy, it should be at the top. Your stop loss will be the red number. And if this is a buy, your stop loss should be at the bottom. And then the gray number will be your entry point. Now, it will be the same exact thing for a sell. But this time, instead of clicking long position tool, you will click short position tool. Because when you go for a sell, that is called going short in the market. So let's just say we're going to enter up here, right? And let me delete this box so we don't get confused. Now, as you can see with this trade, our profit zone is now at the bottom. And our danger zone is now at the top. And this is simply because it's a sale. We're expecting the market to drop down, which means that our take profit would be at the bottom. And it means that our stop loss would be at the top. So you can do the same thing to edit the numbers here. Let's just say you entered the trade at market execution. You can now come back, double click on this box, put your exact entry point here. Let's just say it was 750. Let's just say you want to go for a TP of 25 pips. You're going to put your 25 at a zero. And let's just say you also wanted to have a stop loss of 25 pips as well. Now, I really like how simple this is because a lot of people tend to struggle 
with finding their take profit or stop loss. But when using this tool, it's already calculated for you based on whatever your entry point is. And that's what I really, really, really love about it. So let's just go back and see how this looks on our chart. Yeah, so we can see that would be if the entry point was where this gray line is, we can see 25 pips will be here for the take profit and 25 pips will be here for the stop loss. Now, if you wanted to do a one to two risk to reward ratio, of course, you would just double your profit from whatever your stop loss is. If you wanted to do a three to one, you would just triple your profit level for whatever your stop loss is. And then the trade will look something like this. So once the trade is actually active, once you see the candles moving within this green zone, you'll know that you are in profit from your entry. And then once you see the candle candles entering or surpassing this red zone, it'll let you know that the trade is approaching or has reached its stop loss. So I really hope that this was helpful and that you guys will give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and let me know if it was helpful. But until next time, rich friends.